And this is Wednesday the 12th, April 12th uh, live stream. Now I keep forgetting to pre-upload the thumbnail to schedule the live stream. So if you don't see the uh, the cards that were the uh, email notifications that tell you I'm going to do a live stream, I'm going to try to do one every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's just kind of the time that I've set aside uh, for these live stream. Now, today's live stream, I was trying to figure out, I want to do a video on iOS 10's uh, widget area. And yeah, yeah, you guys can kind of see the widget area from your home screen. Uh, if you're just to swipe the left side, this is the widget area. Now, I'm trying to figure out what, how useful this actually is, and I'm trying to figure out how to make it more useful. I was talking to one of my uh, friends and she said that she really doesn't. She look, There's the date, which is kind of nice. Uh, sometimes she looks at the upcoming events and it has a summary of her calendar. Uh, she might use the news, she said, but she doesn't have the news app set up properly, so it's <coughs> kind of useless in that sense. And for me personally, I have on my in my uh, widget area, I've got the weather, but if I'm wearing my Apple Watch, then there's kind of no point to the weather widget. I've got these two other ones, ProCam and Alloy. And ProCam is just a camera app that I use uh, for all the photos that I take and videos that I take for the uh, product shots for the website. So it's just kind of nice to have a uh, shortcut for the camera portion. And the last one, which is kind of neat that not a lot of people will have is I use this app called Alloy, which is basically like the uh, IFTT do button, uh, the workflow app uh, that Apple just recently purchased. But the nice thing about the Alloy is that it allows a lot more customization. So with the Alloy, I can specify the size of the image that I want to watermark, which is basically all I use it for. So those things in my iOS 10 widget area are basically the only ones that I get used. And so I've spent the last week trying to figure out what else I can use it for. And, you know, other than, you know, the VIP setting for the mail and contacts, like I, I just, I really don't know what else to use it for. So I'm just wondering for the next 15, 20 minutes, if you guys can talk about or ask questions about the widget area, just to get my uh, thoughts going about that subject. So let's see all the uh, people that are here. Hi, first watcher, hey. EJ Productions, please subscribe to me. I just watch, I watch all y'all case videos. I just got the 7 Plus and I love it. So EJ Productions, you've watched over 800 videos of mine? Huh? Chase Hoskins, hello. Jonathan Adut, I love your vids. Well, thank you for the kind word. John Appleseeds, basically just forget it's there a waste of time. Yes, perhaps at this point in time, John, but... We spend oodles of money upgrading our devices and it just seems silly not to try to figure out how to use a piece of that thousand dollar upgrade a little better. Um, Renzo Riga is asking, why are widgets sometimes unresponsive slash freeze? That's a good question. I don't know. MC says, hi, Monty. Hi. Oh, Monty has a hat as well. Jamie Leonard, I have teens and I use the Find My Friends often. Having it linked on the widget screen is very helpful. Find My Friends? Oh yeah, I guess I haven't done Find My Friends yet because mostly I don't have many friends. Is that how you keep track of uh, your teens? <laughs> Jamie? Jerry Zamotsny, love your video reviews about the widget screen. I don't mind it. I'd rather Apple pull, remove the pull down to search view. That is truly useless. The pull down to search. That's actually kind of funny, Jerry. I actually use the search quite a bit to pull it down. For me, I always thought Siri app suggestions were kind of stupid, but I really think... Apple needs to rename the Siri app suggestions to something else because all the stuff that I use relatively frequently or within the last like 12 to 24 hours, those apps show up in that section. So I have found myself going and swiping 
um, trying to find either searching exactly for an app or just going to one of the ones I've know I've used previously, like Word Swag. I've been doing uh, Monty Side Project on Instagram. Word Swag. I use an app called Word Swag, and it's buried in my uh, in all my apps. And so being able to pull down and be able to access the Word Swag really quickly, that swipe down thing, I've actually used more than the actual iOS 10 widget. All right. Uh, Chase Hoskins, I feel the same as you do, but it currently feels useless, which is why I'm doing this live stream. I really want to try to figure out a useful way to do it. I've already shared my two ways. Um, the alloy thing saves me, it'll save me a lot of time actually. It's very, very simple um, because it just, my workflow is right there on my iOS widgets, which is helpful. Uh, John Appleseed, it takes longer to access limited information when you just open the actual app and have all the information. The idea is info at a glass. The fact you have to swipe over beats the point. Yeah, good point. I don't have much to say or add to that. Jamie Leonard, that is exactly how I keep track of teams. <laughs> I don't have any kids. I have no idea what that's like. Kiernan Rhino 07. Does anybody remember when Apple used to be great and people used to queue up for a new iPhone? Now we just go in and buy what we want. Apple have just lost it. I disagree. Um, Kiernan, I disagree. I think Apple at this point in time is has been on the same level for the last since the iPhones come out. Prior to the iPhones. And all the iOS devices, Apple, their computers were rock solid. Like I could leave it on for a year and not have to reboot it. Whereas in when, at the time, Windows 2000, Windows 95, Windows XP, all that stuff had to be rebooted daily. Um, but I still leave my computer on for 30 days at a time without needing to reboot, which is still pretty phenomenal when compared to, I haven't used a lot of Windows computer in the last year, but I still had to do a lot of reboots uh, with my Windows time. And, the standing in line, I don't think is really indicative. People still stand in line for iPhones, uh, from what I can see. And it's not going to be the SEs that people line up and they're running out of. It's going to be the iPhone 7s. And Apple is playing that PR game. for us. So when it comes to Apple losing it or not, I don't think they have. I think they still have it. I was worried that Steve Jobs going away was going to be a problem, but I think they still got it. Um... MC, Monty's literally made my night. So M, you need to go on Instagram if you haven't and search for where is Monty. There's a neat little surprise. It's a private profile right now. Uh, so if you click follow, I will allow, Monty will allow you to follow him as well. Jerry, well, see ya Jerry. Nico Studio, why does Monty look like a grumpy old man? It's still cute, but he just looks so grumpy. He is, he isn't grumpy. We just went out for a walk. So he's running around and smelling and peeing on everything. This is him when I'm filming stuff. This is when I'm done filming and he's on the ground. He is energetic. He's following me around. But when he's sitting here on the stool, this is what he does. He just kind of freezes. And he knows what's going on. But he just, this is how he is. Adulraf Bresh, been a big fan of your videos. Thank you very much for your honest views. No problem, my pleasure. Uh, Nico Studio, being a fan of uh, pulled the trigger and got the S7 Edge with Telus because they gave me a free tablet and with an extra gig. I would like the S7 Edge. I'm still on the fence about getting an S8 um, just to see how it is. Uh, but between the S7 and the S7 Edge, the S7 Edge is the one that I like the most. The, it's just a good size. I really like the size of that device. The edge portion is still gimmicky to me. I don't find much use for it, but the entire, the entire device, I feel, is a really well-built device. Uh, Michael Lee is asking me what the wow factor for the iPhone 7S slash 8. The wow factor for the 7S will be nothing because it will look exactly like the iPhone 7, which looks exactly like the iPhone 6S and 6s. The wow factor for the 8 is basically going to be anything that's not what it is now. That's going to be the wow factor. I've read that they're going to be doing an entire glass shell. I'm not too fond of glass shells because you drop it once and you're completely screwed. And to me, that's ridiculous. Like you drop an S7 or an S7 Edge, there's a good chance you're going to crack the glass. And it's it blows my mind that that's an acceptable rate of breakage, we'll say, for a device. 
Uh, Renzo Riga, can you send, give us a few more Apple Watch video straps, cases? Uh, I am doing a uh, Apple Watch video. I went, when I bought the Apple Watch 2, I bought an Apple Watch strap and I bought a knockoff strap. And I finally used them. I've been swapping them on one week on, one week off. And I finally figured out one difference between these this $13 strap and this $300 strap. So I'm going to do a video. Most likely it's going to come out next week. In terms of Apple Watch cases, I'm not sure how useful those cases are. Like I've got a Catalyst waterproof one, but since the Apple Watch 2 is waterproof, do I really need to do another one? I just kind of noticed that the live stream, the video quality, like I'm very, very pale. Like this hat doesn't really look that orange. <laughs> Got to change the color on my light. Uh, wait, this dude can see this chat? Yes, Bilal, what have you been saying? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <coughs> Abdul Ruff Rush, same here, but I do understand why there's less interest in iPhones now that Android has reached a comfortable level stability. I, I don't know if I entirely agree with Android having a comfortable level of stability, they're still, it is still so fragmented that unless some player comes in and just wipes out everybody else, that fragmentation I think is going to be a big issue. I was talking to a an Apple iPhone repair shop and oh yeah, you guys, in about a month, I'm going to do a live stream in an actual iPhone, one of the local iPhone repair shops. And the owner and I, we've been talking about how to pimp out your iPhone. Now, I'm not talking about cases and accessories. I'm talking about opening up your iPhone and removing chips and putting different chips into it. There's a couple of things that you can do to it, which I think is going to be kind of neat for us to kind of show you and talk to you guys about it. So in about a month, uh, this one I will send out a notification for, but I'm going to do a live stream in an actual Apple repair shop and we're going to talk about actually pimping out your iPhone. So I'm pretty excited to do that. <coughs> John Bittek, yay, thought I could help. Uh, Nathan, so you're an Apple guy, do you prefer anything to iPhones or my iMacs? So I've been an Apple guy for the longest time. Um, I used to work in IT uh, for an uh, engineering consulting firm, and, and all I did was IT support for Apple, or not Apple, for Windows. Um, I've been using, I've got a Windows computer downstairs, it's usually, it's just my gaming rig. Um, but I've been an Apple guy for 12 years now, and the only reason why I'm an Apple guy is because all this stuff works. Like, I am a big fan of efficiency, and the moment a computer program starts screwing up, I get so angry. I have an infinite amount of patience usually for people or living things, but the moment that a computer program starts screwing up or starts locking up, I lose my mind. And so I basically blew one of my brain, uh, one of my blood veins <laughs> of fixing Windows computers because stuff like that, like I used to be a programmer as well, and I don't understand how <laughs> you program something at zero or a one, but somehow Windows decided that there's a 0.5 or a gray area where their software kind of exists. Uh, Abs 83842, uh, should I get the iPhone 7 Plus or Galaxy 8 8 Plus? I have the iPhone 6 Plus. It's up to you. Go get the Galaxy S8 Plus um, if you want to change or wait until the iPhone 7S Plus or the iPhone 8 comes out. Uh, Harry, uh, Elder Sean is asking, what's the best Ben Proof iPhone 6S Plus? It's going to be one of the aluminum bumpers that I reviewed. Um, the Extoria Defense Shield is, has an aluminum bumper. That's probably going to be Ben proof. But for the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6 Plus bent quite easily. The 6S Pluses did not bend as easily. So you might not need a Ben proof case unless you're purposely sitting on it. Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to buy the S8 most likely. MC, what is your absolutely go-to iPhone 7 case, the one you personally use regularly? I don't actually have one I personally use regularly because... I'm using whatever I'm reviewing. If I had a default, like this K11 Thanotech bumper is usually very close around. The Morse, Mophie force hold case is usually very close around. The Thule Atmos X4 is a case that I go to a lot. Um, but other than that, there isn't one that stands out all the time, only because I've got, I've reviewed 100 cases, I've got another 40 downstairs, so I just, I just use them. 
I don't really have a personal favorite. Eh. Nico Studio, iPhone 9 or iPhone 10. That's so many years. Your contract is done in 2019. Did you just upgrade your contract? Find design, signs, graphics, LLC. I'm also human interviews. I watch your videos anytime I need to research a project. Woo! CPSL London. I, Apple should make a phone that doesn't scratch heavily a battery that lasts. If they were really innovators, should they might make try to make products that don't need so many accessories? Um, I do agree, but no one else is doing it. Um, the scratching. I don't think these things scratch that easily. I'm not terribly kind to my phones and I have no problem with the scratching. Um, the battery, I've always, I've thought a lot about the battery and I think the lithium ion, the problem is not Apple per se, though they could affect change because they're large enough. But I think that the technology for producing lithium ion batteries is now very cheap, we'll say. And anything else, the capital cost to get it going is too large right now so either it's unproven and or it's yeah it's unproven and the banks aren't willing to finance any of that stuff i don't think there is a conspiracy against it. i just think that lithium ion batteries themselves were such a crap shoot to begin with that they're finally figuring out how to make them properly um and from a chemical perspective, I don't know if there's anything else that I've seen that is more efficient in storing energy than the lithium ion. I think if we were to improve battery technology, it's gonna have to be something completely different, just from my perspective. Um, no, are you gonna do Amazon product reviews like I suggested? I haven't thought about it. Keep reminding me I might do it. It's hard to do Amazon product reviews because, well, there's so many reviews about Amazon product reviews already on Amazon. Uh, Amrit Najjar, big up, mobile reviews, A. Eh? Eco Studio, S8, find a great piece of sound, the same thing, the Edge displays got to feel the same as the S7 Edge. Thanks for sharing, Nico. Harry, how many iPhones have you broke? Uh, and for each 6 or 6S, uh, along those generations, it's usually 12 to 18. What do you think of the Peel case, Michael Pathy asked. So I'm gonna do a top 10 ultra thin iPhone case review. I do have the Peel case. Between the Peel and the Cotabi VLX Veil XT, I like the Veil XT because it has more texture. Other than that, those two products are basically the same. Have you ever used a Windows phone? Why do you think they have failed? I have used a Windows phone. I've never owned one. My brother-in-law has one and I think they, I, I, won't, I won't say that they failed. I'll say that the market, that they, they entered the market too late. Um, and so they produced decent hardware. This, the operating system, like any operating system, needed a few more iterations to be really rock solid. But because I think they were late to the mobile game, that's what killed the Windows mobile phone. Now, that's the exact opposite of the Surface, which is kind of this hybrid tablet computer thing. And no one else was doing it well. And they jumped on the gun and they're doing very well with the uh, hybrid tablet Surface market, we'll say. Renzo's Riga's asking, any good air hooks, ear hooks for the AirPods? They got them fit better. Um, <coughs> I think Spigen or Spigen has a pair of hooks for the AirPods. Um, CPSL London, great response, no problem. 923 Jim, finally get to see you live. Please keep the reviews coming. I love to see what's coming out and if it's worth getting. Cool. Uh, Noe, would you work for Apple, Samsung, Microsoft as an engineer if they offered you a position? Um, I would not work for Apple. As much as I love working hard, the amount of work those guys put in, um, I don't think I would survive very well in there because I'm, I'm a hard worker, I'm a dreamer, I'm an engineer. Um, I will grind out, like I grind out my uh, mobile reviews, like there are weeks where it's 10 to 12 hours a day for seven, seven days a week. I grind as hard as I can, but I think if I was to choose, I'd have to go with Samsung, mostly because Samsung's such a large company that there's just so much stuff that you can learn and to try. Um, whereas an Apple, it's just basically this, 
the back. Um, I wouldn't go work for Microsoft. That doesn't sound... I might work for Google. No, I wouldn't work for Google. Yeah, I'd work for Samsung. Um, Fine Design Studios, do you think Apple will ever quit upgrading the phones? No, I think... I guess the answer to that question would be to watch what they do with the iPods. They're still upgrading the iPods, just not as frequently. Um, so some marketing person is still seeing uh, the iPods having a market share in that space. And I think it will be the same thing for the iPhones, is that, you know, I kind of think about my parents, that they're probably going to get iPhones for the rest of their lives for the next 20, 30 years. So, you know, when we move to a different communications platform or hardware setup, um, then I think they'll uh, swap it over. But until then, I think they're going to constantly upgrade it. It's going to be like the Macs. The Macs constantly get upgraded, even though they're far and few between for some of the models. I think they will keep getting upgraded. Um, Harry Eldershaw is asking about the next screen protector video. Right before this live stream, I filmed the review for the E2E glass. So that's coming out uh, this week. And Noe Botelli, is there a draft? If there is a draft in the US, I'll move to Calgary. So can you recommend a college or university? <laughs> so in Calgary, there's 1.2 million people in the city that I live in. There's one major university, University of Calgary. There's a startup university, a small university called Mount Royal University. And there is a technical school called SAIT, which is Southern Alberta Institute of Technology. Um, there's another large city just about four hours north of Calgary. And they've got the theoretically better university because it's older. So it's more, more established, the University of Alberta. The engineering programs in these two universities are actually really good. Um, engineering in general in Canada is taken very seriously. I don't have my ring on my hand right now. Uh, mostly because my hands are recovering from doing too many chin-ups. Um, but it depends on what you're doing, what you want to do. <coughs> CPSL Linden's asking about Bluetooth audio adapters. I thought about it for a while, and I can't really justify. There isn't any difference, much difference between those products. If you are looking for one that I use, CPSL Linden, the uh, Griffin iTrip is something that I've used quite a bit uh, with wired headphones. Anthony Hauser, hey bro, you're the best. Thanks, bro. You're awesome for following and watching this live stream and watching my videos. Um, Fine Design Science, have you used the wireless earbuds from Apple? Yes, I have. I've done a video about if they fall out during working out. It was released in December, so do check that out. And then I did do another video about how it simplified my life about a month ago. So do check those two videos out, and they basically explain my entire opinion on the Apple AirPods. <laughs> the J Lord, nice hat. Yeah, these things I got from uh, how to get them made from Spreadshirt. They're pretty awesome. People like them. No one buys them though. <laughs> Do you ever get a chance to review the iFace case? I know you were looking for it once, but haven't seen anything from you since. So iFace sent me like a massive box of cases. I guess I should review them. I guess I owe them that much for sending like three dozen cases. Like I've been giving them to my friends and family. Nobody wants them anymore. I still got like 18 of them at home or in the basement. Um, haven't used the Beats earpods. Not the newest ones I used. I had Power Beats 2s. They were okay. Wesley Power is what phone do you use on a regular basis? It's an iPhone. And on a regular basis, it's the one that I am reviewing products for. My personal preference is for the 7 Plus. Abruf, Brush, should, Apple should get rid of the S variant altogether. I know we get a new interior hardware, but it might to get a new design every year. Most flagships do instead of every two years. Um, I'm use, for, for me personally, I love the fact that they keep the uh, form factor the same because that just means I get to regurgitate most of the content that I produce. Um, but from a, I don't know, when I think about the fact that they don't, uh, I'm working, you're working. They don't upgrade the exterior is, I understand the TikTok cycles of product upgrades. I, I do wish they still stick 
with the every two years form factor because it gives them the ability to innovate within a finite constraint, a finite set of constraints, right? So every year the iPhone is faster, better, more battery life. And I don't think they would be able to have those gains if they were changing the form factor every single year. Like I look at the Galaxy phones and it's like a crapshoot. Like I, I'm kind of surprised no one's really ragging on them for calling it an S8 Plus when the year before it was the S7 Edge. And the year before that it was just the S6 Edge, which was exactly the same size as the S6, right? So you've got like this explosion of different cases of different sizes and stuff. And that's, um, for the accessories market is very, very annoying. And Wesley Powers is acting in what case we get for an iPhone 6. Go to my website and look up for the best, look at the article, the best cases for the iPhone 6, and you've got them all there. Best bang for your buck case, no one is asking, and that would be one of the poetic cases would be your best bang. Affinity or the uh, Silk Innovation Base Grip. Those two are under 15 bucks, I believe, and they are pretty awesome. Base Grip comes with two screen protectors. Harry, you are the best, bro. Thanks, bro. No, we a draft in Canada? I don't think so. No, well, there might be. I'm too old for the draft, so. Uh, MC, what's been my favorite generation of iPhone? It's going to be the 5Ss, or the 5s. I really like the fact that it could fit in my hand very, very easily. Yeah. Uh, try and get this to 30 likes. How many likes it is now? You can do it. Did you use the very first iPhone? I did. I didn't own it. Um, I wish I bought one. I really did. Looking back now, I wish I did buy one. Um, my friend still has it, and I still ask to borrow it every once in a while just to touch and be nostalgic. That too. Best slim iPhone 6 case. Again, go to my website. I've got a post that says best iPhone 6 cases. And it's got all the information that you need about iPhone, this slim iPhone 6 case. All right, guys, um, I'm going to cut this off now. I know it's only been 27 minutes, but I've got another two videos, another video to film, and I get tired. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. You guys, I'll mention it, and you guys will pay attention to it a bit more, but I've been doing longer videos. So I, the videos now, some of them are approaching 12 minutes. Some of them are 10 minutes. Most of them are seven to, eight, seven to 10 minutes. And I fill them all in one clump. And so like a five minute video usually takes me about eight minutes to film because I can get through that pretty quickly. But it's not linear. So the longer the video is, the, the time it takes is almost exponential. So like a 12 minute video will take me like 22 minutes to film. And then I've been doing them like three at a time. So it's like, hour and 15 an hour and a half worth of uh, filming and by the the last video by that time i'm i'm tired my mouth is parched and i'm half pissed off because i can't speak properly so you guys whoever's watching this you guys will probably pick up on some of the videos where i'm just i just sound pissed off and it's not because i hate what i'm doing it's just it's at the end of a very long filming session and then you know after i film it it's not like i stop doing it. i have to go pack everything edit it all in so but uh all right bye 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 do you think you'll ever buy the red iphone alan asked yes i'm going to buy the red iphone next opportunity i can i realized i sold one of my iphone 6s 7s or 7s and i realized that i only had one i have two but only one works because the other one well, story about a dud um so i need to buy two i need to have two functioning ones and so once i get enough cash i'm buying a red one all right, guys, thanks for uh, watching this live stream. If you guys have any ideas or you guys want me to talk about any other stuff that you come to mind, um, next week I'm going to talk about iOS gaming. Um, it's been something I've been pondering about, and I really want to get your guys' thought on it. I've been very annoyed at mobile gaming lately, um, especially when compared to like some of the other games I've been playing PC. So that's kind of all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Like, this is cool. <laughs> this is so awesome. Stop streaming.